Hi beauties, I'm Yulia, I'm your virtual beauty therapist. The video today is going to be about chasing rabbits. Now this is a very colorful, groovy, 70s kind of a style of packaging products and a lot of the products actually have mushrooms inside. So this is my first try of this brand. The set was very kindly gifted in exchange of my Instagram review but because I have never tried them before I decided I'm going to give you a bit more details here in YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do so, please consider subscribing to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, share it and comment below. You can also of course find me and follow me on Instagram and TikTok for much more beauty content. But let's go with the brand info. The slogan of the brand is chasing for the better. So obviously they are looking to develop not only your skincare but also your general health. They use Eco packaging, which is a little bit more expensive, but it is bio based kind of a packaging for everything. They have removable stickers in order to be easier to recycle afterwards. They are created by what they're saying third generation K beauty experts. So these are people with around 30 years of experience because actually. Chasing Rabbit is part of a big company and a part of them are also Neo Farm, which is Bilberry, Zebreed, Atul Palm. So despite the fact that we are talking about one brand, they're part of a very big company with quite a few resources and a lot of uh, skincare experts that are creating this kind of skincare. As for point of view of the packaging, very 70s, groove. Even the shift is really nice, very catchy. I do think it's more for younger people, if you want to say, people in their 20s. But to be fair, the aesthetics for me personally, they're not as important from point of view of the fact that for me, it's more important what is into the product, the formula, how my skin reacts towards them. So yes, if a 70s groove <laughs> kind of a packaging is what you're going for, this is definitely a colorful choice that you will enjoy. JC Rabbit is available to purchase from different retailers. However, sometimes they run out of stock or it's not all of the products. So down in the description box, I will add their Amazon storefront, their official website, and also a retailer that will be able to give you all of the products, at least for the time being that I'm filming this. But of course, you're more than welcome to check out other retailers as well for the brand. Magic Beauty Shroom, it's a hybrid kind of essence. For me personally, because this has such a lifelike texture, I kind of use it as a toner. So after I cleanse my face, this is the first thing that I go for. The texture, as you can see from the close-up, is very, very runny. So it does look like a water. However, when you apply it onto the skin, it feels a little bit slippery, a little bit shiny, softening. It's quite interesting. The ingredients here is 100% snow mushroom extract. This is a bit cheeky. And it's not just this brand in general. Because that doesn't mean that it's just, you know, snow mushroom squeezed or whatever. This means that you have the extract and then you have some kind of solution. Usually this water. And then you have your normal preservatives and so on. Because you cannot just put anything into a bottle and sell it to consumers. It is not going to be safe. Just like green tea extract or whatever else you can think about. This is not just green tea. You have some kind of solution that is going to be the base. Then you have the extract. Which is very important how exactly is going to happen from the point of view how stable it is. What is the pressure that was used to extract it. The method that was used, is there any alcohol, was it a steaming, was it some kind of uh, refinement, what exactly was the temperature that was used as well. So there's a lot of question marks when we look into one ingredient of products from point of view of the sourcing and also how exactly it was manipulated in order to be created this kind of ingredient. So snow mushroom is very rich in antioxidants, so it helps, it helps with the fight of free radicals, pollution, and so on. In the same time, one of the uh, things that you will find into mushrooms is kojic acid, which is brightening. I have used it in my professional work uh, for chemicals, uh, chemical peels as well. It is brightening. It is helping to 
reduce the production of tyrosinase, which is the melanin producing enzyme, and therefore it is helping with pigmentation and evening the skin tone. With that being said, obviously we are talking about very small amount, we are talking about an extract, so plant, plant extract can contain different things like for example, mushrooms also contain vitamin A, which is retinol, um, vitamin D as well. But in the same time, this is far from what you will find into chemically created ingredients, which are, say, 0.5% of retinol or, or what so on. So you cannot say that this is exfoliating because it definitely is not. Also, snow mushroom is quite rich in beta glucans, which is moisturizing, hydrating. You will find that this ingredient is also helping to retain more water within the skin. So that's why we are talking about hydration, similar to hyaluronic acid, but with more natural origin. For me, this works really nice because it is moisturizing. You can apply a lot of layers if you want to. You can sew cotton pads if you want to into that one, as well to soothe and to hydrate your skin. And I, I personally like it, never had um, any kind of issues, no irritation or anything. I do think it is kind of a more for overnight if it's oily skin, just because it doesn't leave a film or shininess, but kind of leaves the softness afterwards. You do feel like there's something onto the skin afterwards. And if you are with oily skin, if you are somewhere outside in humid and warm place, I don't think this will be what you will go for and enjoy it that much. For someone with dry and sensitive skin like myself, this I do think it's a great product. However, keep in mind that if you use multiple essences, this will be the first one to go for because you go from texture from light to heavier. This is the Bunny Line Smoother. So this is really cleverly made kind of a packaging. Now this is only 15 milliliters. So while they do say you can use it for different lines and wrinkles, not just around the area, I do think that because you have stainless steel applicator over here and it is quite a small amount of product, I think it's more suitable for the eye area. So it should be brightening the puffing, reducing lines and wrinkles and so on. From point of view of ingredient, here the base of the product is green tea water, which is antioxidant along with many other benefits. But also here you have a few different amino acids. You have a lot of different types of hyaluronic acid, which is going to help to plumb the skin with very nice hydrating ingredients. You have fermented ingredients, which are good for well aging care. They might be brightening as well. I do think it's really clever because you press over here and then it comes out the product and then you can apply it very nicely on different areas. Now one pump is enough for the area around the eyes. To be fair, I also use it for what is left a little bit for my forehead as well. I have not used it for long enough in order to say, oh, this is amazingly erasing my lines and wrinkles. I just think it is more moisturizing. It is deep puffing because the tip feel very nice and cool. So in the morning, this as way of applying your eye product definitely works really nicely and helps to the puff the eye area but from point of view of ingredients i'm a little bit so so while it does have a denosine which should be in long term reducing lines and wrinkles as i said i have not used it for long enough to say about this but from point of view of moisturizing uh, pleasantly cooling the eye area and so on i do like this kind of product and for me it's very very nice the fact that they have created this kind of packaging because it's very pleasant when you apply it onto the skin. With that being said, I do also saw that they have another cream, which is like a metal roller in order to apply it over the face. And I think also this will be very nice for during the summer because it will be slightly cooling the skin, but I have not tried. I'm just saying if you wanna go and have a look on it. So this is the green golden ruler and this is the moisturizer. I do have to say it has quite a few similarities from point of view of ingredients, like with the line smoother. So again, the base of your product will be green tea water. This is nearly 68% of your moisturizer. Along you do have once again fermented ingredients. You have a denosine. There's a few different types of hyaluronic acid. You have panthenol. The texture is quite light. So what the brand says is 
for drier area, you can actually apply two layers of this. It has a little bit of scent. To me, it reminds me of melon. I also saw it into the ingredients list. There's melon extract here. I don't know. It's kind of a greenish, very light, very refreshing. They have been quite good from the point of view of sizing because this is 100 ml of a product and it retails around $30. So you can apply two layers. If you want, you can use it as overnight mask as well. But with that being said, I do have to say that for someone with dry sensitive skin, the sensitivity is covered well with this one because green tea or match is quite nice soothing ingredient, oil balancing, antioxidant and so on. But in the same time, the texture is too light for me personally for overnight. I think this is more spring summer kind of skincare. So timing quite good to get this. This is the trio that I received from the brand for review purposes. I did enjoy trying them. There's definitely much to be looked into this brand. They have very cheeky, very catchy, funny kind of products. They have bomb patches, different masks hair bands, different products they have, multi bound. Let me know down in the comments if you have tried the brand, what was your impression as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel, press on the notification bell and comment down below. You can find me and follow me on Instagram and TikTok for much more beauty content. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.